right, PML fans. We just talked about possibly the next future champion of PML this season. But uh, here's going to be a coach that might be able to stop him. We got Coach Stewart. And uh, Coach Stu. Drafted. Salamence, Dragonite, Sableye, Primarina, Weezing K, Rotom Frost, Diggers B, Gorgeist, G Max, Centiscorch, and Corviknight. And the first thing I have to talk about, uh, looking at Stewart's team, he went double dragon. First two picks. Not just double dragon, but double dragon flying. Mm hmm. He... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, you guys, before you jump in and like, pop my head off, right? I've got, I've got, I've written my, I've written my little blurb here. I don't know if you want me to read it now or read it at the end. <laughs> no, go for it. He's straight, straight on the defenses too. No, no, it's fine. So, um, as you guys well know, I've got a newborn baby. Um, you know, I decided I wasn't going to take this draft in particular too seriously. I'm not as good at doubles and I've got other drafts going on as well as things in real life. So in that respect, I was going to pick moms that I liked instead of those that probably picked for safety reasons like you know i love picking sylveon or i like like that that i pick very often um and if i was tossing up between two picks i picked the ones that i've been wanting to use for a while uh, i told myself last season that if i was in a position to draft dragonite then i would um as i was sniped by one or two picks last season and my low draft position this time meant that my true targets in the first round were whittled down quite quickly in fact i was actually going to pick dragonpot again um, it was smart to pick before mine, though, by Zach. Well done. Um, not knowing that I was going to get Dragonite in round two, I picked Salamence in round one. Um, I've used Mega Salamence when it was around. haven't used Salamence since. It's one of my favorite dragons. Um, I'm looking forward to using it. Lo and behold, round two rolls around. Dragonite falls to me. I pick it. I stay true to my word. Um, yes, I now have got two Dragon Flying types. I'm, used, I'm actually stoked with that. Um, I know I have to start patching that shared weakness straight away, especially the ice one. Another mod that I've always wanted to use in doubles is Sableye. So despite everything in my body telling me to pick along the Nine Towers, I pick Sableye. Um, as such, I wanted to get a nice Water Fury pretty much straight away. Primarina was the choice there. Um, that helps the ice weakness. Then I picked Weezing, the Fairy weakness. That was my wild card that I got the most important part of the team, though, Corviknight. It's another one I've never drafted. I really wanted a strong steel type. I didn't have to resort to Skarmory. I was going to pick Celesteela. would have been my next go-to, but I like the utility and abilities of Corviknight next to my dragons a little bit more. Um, Gorgeist is one of my favorite ghosts. I've never used them in doubles, so I'm happy to put them work. Uh, Rotom Frost is better in doubles than singles, I reckon, especially when you can Dynamax it. Um, the same with Center Scorch. Sounds like a great time. Looking forward to using it. I know it's a bit slow, but um, hopefully I can mitigate that. Initially, it's Scissor as insurance in case I didn't get Corviknight. However, I traded to Diggersby straight after the draft because I wanted a ground type and a normal type. And, of course, Diggersby covers both. I mean, all in all, it's not the best or strongest team I've ever drafted. But, you know, it looks fun to me and I'm looking forward to using it. There you go. Away. Take it away, guys. All right. Now that Stuart <laughs> got his life story out of the way. <laughs> Hey, 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 I just want to give you, that, give you a back, background and then, you know, you can pick it apart. All right. Well, I do like the team. I, I was really hoping you would go uh, Mono Dragon, but there clearly isn't that many dragons, especially in the lower tier, the way our uh, draft is set up. So fair enough that you didn't. But I do like the team. I love Primarina. Salamence is a great doubles Pokemon. Um, G-Max sent a Scorch. Uh, I'm jealous I don't get to fight that. Same. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Huh? You're... Are you going to bring it against me, Sue? Sorry? Are you going to bring G-Max Center Scorch oh, against yeah, me? Oh, yeah, because he's all rock tight. So would... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Set, set clearing four times weakness to rocks is not going to go away overnight, is it? But, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think um sort of getting back into the back into it now. I think I like the bulk. Like the, the and we're not gonna keep harping on about this, but the, the, the obvious the obvious problem is that drag double dragon and flying weakness, but at the same time he doesn't have to play them both at the same time. He doesn't even have to he doesn't have to bring both dragons in the same team. He's he's got like like I alluded to in um Zach's video, 
as a shameless um, plug. Mm -hmm. um, what I alluded to in Zach's video was that it's not, it's not necessarily a bad thing having two of the same types, and even the same, like even if it's two exactly identical types, they do different things. So Salamence can bring out, you know, Intimidate or Moxie, and can be more of an offensive threat. Dragonite can do other things, you know, extreme speed, um, dual wing beats. So I think I think Salamence gets dual wing beat as well, but it can have it's a more of a defensive presence where it can live a hit and dish one back if it needs to, or it can take advantage of its marble scale Dynamax, use weakness policy, and you know, hook in from there. You know, there's a lot of different options that it can go with. Um, so it's not exactly a, it's not quite as straightforward as I've said in Zach's video, but, um, that multiple typings, multiple same typings, sorry, is a bad thing. It's just gotta be, just gotta be uh, managed. But in that vein, I think the, the bulk that he's got is great. Sableye, Primarina, Antonian Weezing, they're very bulky Pokemon, they're very hard to break down. Um... Oh, same with Corviknight. Corviknight, I've, I've had notori I've got notorious problems with Corviknight. I just can't. I just can't seem to break it down, no matter which team I draft. Mm -hmm. um, so overall, I think it's a great, great team for bulk. And I gave him a nine. Yeah, I, I agree. I love his bulk, and uh, there's not much on his team that like shares weaknesses. I mean, of course, the two dragons and then Rotom Frost and Central Scorch both share the rock type weak. <laughs> But there's so many Pokemon on his team that can cover that. And then, of course, having Sableye to support those Pokemon and uh, get Will-O-Wisp on things. And that just adds to his bulk. And I, I agree. I'm going to give it a 9. Don't worry, I won't grab my own team. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 10. It's a 10. <laughs> 10, right? I, I tell you what, no, though, I was considering... Too. I know you were joking about um, Mono Dragon. I was actually considering Mono Flying. That was my... Um, once again, I couldn't guarantee I was going to get Corviknight at the very end. And if I had been able to get that at the very end, I would have gone Salamence, Dragonite, Corviknight, then I would have gone probably Mono Flying. But um, I'm happy with my choices in that respect. Mm -hmm. Well, that brings us to uh, the speed tiers of uh, Stuart's team. Um, pretty slow team. Uh not not anything i can see like just right off the back that breaks 100 speed tier except salamant but it's bulky enough that i don't think the speed will matter that much uh trick room yeah. also it, it, i don't know it, it's like one of those middle of the road speed tiers on his team and i don't know if he wants to uh, build low speed and trick room around or build uh to uh, abuse tail so i'm gonna go with an eight you know i i agree um i think the only thing that sort of helps me out here a bit in terms of like trying to boost speed is just that tailwind on elements i'm not entirely sure that road frost gets it and i should have actually check that before i uh, bro i've got so much tailwind that's coming out my ass you know <laughs> <laughs> this fucking it's, it's like arse wind, honestly. There's so much. Well, what, what gets tailored on your team, mate? Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, Salamis gets it. Does Dragonite get it? Probably, oh, but I, I, I it. probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't use it. But yeah, um, Corviknight is the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I was thinking as well. Like, Salamis is not really the Pokemon you want to be using for, for Tailwind. Mm -hmm. Salamis, you want to be attacking and killing things. Um, Corviknight is probably the one big option you've got for Tailwind. And then that's it. That's fine. You only need you only need one tailwind to get the speed off. It's just yeah. is it maybe an over maybe a bit of an over reliance and a bit of predictability about it. But also Corviknight and does Corviknight think it's gonna it'll be it'll be okay. I think. Um, so yeah, I think I get I'll give you a seven. I'm a bit more critical than Joe, but um, hey, that's fair. That's fair. You didn't take into account all my priority options, but that's fine. I'll I'll excuse that. <laughs> Your prankster, Sableye, and oh, I suppose ah seven extremes, ex <laughs> extreme seven. speed, fake, extreme speed, fake out, aqua jet, um, quick attack, shadow you, sneak. You you really I mean, you yeah. really putting the aqua jet on Primarina though? 
Hey, quick attack on Diggsby. I, I'm calling it right I, I, now. Quick attack on Diggsby would be pretty good, actually. I'll give you an eye. Go on there. I'll, 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 yeah. I'm going to call Poked it into it. Primarine has been around Triple no, um, Axel this, this season. There's no corruption up here. It's between us three, it's all good. Don't worry about listeners. Hey. Jesse's not here, but I'm. Jesse, Jesse doesn't know this yet, but I'm bringing Quick Attack Diggersby to our panel today. I tell him. <laughs> we're, we're we're live. What are you talking about? He's watching us right now. I'm just I'm kidding. Not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that brings us to a wall breaking on Stewart's team, and he has a few wall breakers. Nothing that screams home about you know he could just rip through teams. But a lot of his team could set up and, given the right item, could could do some damage. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, I think his wall breaking, his wall breaking is there. I think Salamence is probably his, again his biggest his biggest uh, attacking threat, mm-hmm. and rightfully so. Um, it just depends on how he wants to set up in a, on a particular week. Um, you know, Gmax Center Scorch under the right conditions can be quite potent. Um, I know I've, I've had problems with it in the past, but I'm also pretty much exclusively a singles player, so it remains to be seen how well Santa Scorch can go on in the doubles format, or for me anyway. Um, but I do know that Salamence is excellent. You know, you can run Scarf Moxie um, and just go nuts. Um, you can also Dynamax Salamence to get the speed boosts and then the Moxie boost on top of that, which is very busted. Mm-hmm. Getting two spoilers, stats spoilers. Was this, I'm bringing <laughs> Scarf Moxie Salamence against Jesse this afternoon. <laughs> Again, I don't know. No, no, no spoilers. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> uh, looking for it. I'd love to see his reaction to that. Um, well, yeah, the funny thing is, I'll probably lose. I'll probably lose. So it won't matter. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. We'll see. we on everything. Um, probably. Diggersby's good. For like, you know, quick attacks and good for um, like even even just as simple as quick attack on diggers will be enough to do a lot of damage to things. Um, and good justice, especially good when it's carrying a life orb. Yeah, life orb. Yeah. yeah, maybe 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 I should bring life orb. Spoilers. 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 It's life orb quick attack. We're, we're gonna have to uh, start ourselves a chop chop with all these spoilers. <laughs> um, but yeah, I gave you an, I gave you an eight on um, wall breaking. I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna agree with an eight. All right, and that brings us to uh, recovery and support. You gonna kick us off, Joe? No, you got it. Go ahead. Uh, I'm or, not really sure how I feel about the recovery and support options on this one. Like, there's there's good recovery in. Um, on Corviknight, and I guess Salamence and Dragon. If you want, if you really want to run a risk, like that's extremely unintuitive. Um, Gorgias has got Leap Seed. Sableye's got Recover, and um, it's what like Corviknight's got Tailwind. So I think it's sort of a bit, you know, that's that's pretty good. But you got, then you got Sableye's Will O' Wisp, Weezing's got Will O' Wisp, uh, Toxic, but. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it's I sort would... of like a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty standard kind of recovering support options. It's not. I think maybe we're so used to seeing like such great, you know, s- great stats across the board that you know this is now sort of I, I a standard looking recovering support team. is actually looking pretty mediocre. If that makes sense. Yeah, so Jaden, Jaden, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give away all my tactics. I haven't battled you yet, so uh, we'll just keep it there, right? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Uh... Uh... I will add one thing. Uh, Rotom Frost does give uh, Stu some good uh, support options. I believe Rotom can, do, can get screens up for for the team. Uh, it can also defog screens away. Uh, it can uh, electro web people, so it slow your team down while making his average speed look tremendous. So it there that's one of the bigger supporters. I see on his team, uh, outside of just the usual Sableye and Corviknight. And of course, Gorgeist, I think, uh, can strength sap some things, and Weezing's also a defogger. 
So th- there, there's other Pokemon that can do some stuff. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh. Ooh. But uh, since uh, the recovery is limited to uh, those two Pokemon uh, and maybe Gorgas, uh, I'm going with seven. Ouch. Yeah, you were sorry. taking advantage of Skelly to trigger and not being a roost. <laughs> that's, 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 I've got three roosters. Three. Cotton Doodle Doo. We've already given you one up here. Like, is it, what is this? Captain's call on everything? Right. Every, no, every no, it's fine. It's fine. You can, you, it's fine. I can wear a six. It's fine. I can wear it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I gave, I gave him a seven as well on um, recovering support. All right. And um, that brings us to the final category uh, <laughs> Team Synergy. Uh, on paper, this team is complete shit together. Uh, no reason. <laughs> Anyone should have drafted this and uh, it's a zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Couldn't agree more. Yeah, well, that's a fair call. That's a fair call. It'd be funny no, if I mean, I had already done that to you, but you know, that's cool. I get hey, it. Hey, I, I saved it for the last one to throw you off. You were, you were, you were like, oh. wait, what? what? Where did this come from? Yeah, yeah no. Um, yeah. I think once it, I think this is the only other time we'll bring up the, um, the, Dragonite's Elements core, like that seems to be it. The synergy is not particularly great. It's, it's fine, like the dude already said this as well. Like he's not. Um, it's a team full of fun Pokemon. It's not really a. It's not his best um, drafted team in terms of like we're going to take this super seriously and we're going to try and win this. In saying that, I think he's still within a fighting chance because it is too. I think it's. Um, I think he'll probably, you know, sit in that, you know, third, fourth place. Like, he'll be trying to push for those. Yeah, I think my son agrees too. He's just sort of trying yeah. in the background. Yeah, you think so as well, mate, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's about third or fourth place. And um, and I think that'll, that'll be really, really a great result with this team. Yeah, I agree. Sorry. This team looks good. I know it could put in the work. And then Stu, of course is the bulky king, bulky offensive king. So if anyone's going to make it work, it's, it's two. And I'm going to go ahead and finish it off with the seven. And same with me. Yeah, it's not last. <laughs> that, that'll be me. <laughs> um, I, don't think, I don't think I put you last. 39 out of 50. Uh, same, 39 out of, out of 50. <laughs> He's not pretty. And that's that's two completely unbiased uh, scores from your fellow admins. On to the next one. <laughs> <laughs>